So one of my biggest gripes about corporate Democrats, besides their corporatism, of course, is that they're always so weak. They don't know how to one play politics and two, they don't know how to stand their ground against Republicans. I mean, the Republican Party is incredibly ruthless and they don't even care about the optics. They're always trying to do what they can to defeat Democrats. But when it comes to Democratic Party leadership, I mean, when you just juxtapose someone like Mitch McConnell to Chuck Schumer or Nancy Pelosi, the difference is night and day. I've always said that if we got a person just half as ruthless as Mitch McConnell in Democratic Party leadership, imagine what a difference that would make. Imagine how much stronger the left as a whole would be, but they're weak. And one of the issues that they have been incredibly weak on, namely Nancy Pelosi, is the issue of impeachment. There's a plethora of reasons that you have to open an impeachment inquiry. I mean, in the Mueller report, there are 10 different instances where Trump obstructed justice. He was in violation of the emoluments clause on day one. There's a number of reasons why Donald Trump is breaking the Constitution and should be impeached. But what is Nancy Pelosi doing? She's running scared, predictably. And AOC decided to call out this inherent weakness in the face of potential Republican opposition. So as Kate Sullivan and Manu Raju of CNN reports, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said Tuesday, it appears Democrats are sitting on their hands when it comes to impeachment, reflecting the unease from an outspoken block of members who want Democrats to take a tougher stance against the president. When asked if she was satisfied with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's approach and opposition to beginning the impeachment process, Ocasio-Cortez told CNN, Personally, I am not. I think that an impeachment inquiry is right on our doorstep, the New York Democrat said, adding she is concerned about where the line to begin proceedings has been drawn. If now isn't the time, what is the bar? What is the line that we're waiting to be crossed for an impeachment inquiry? And so far, it doesn't seem like there is one, Ocasio-Cortez said. And so, without a clear boundary, it seems as though we're kind of sitting on our hands, she added. So if now isn't the time, then I think a lot of folks would like to know when is the time. Earlier Tuesday, Pelosi told CNN opening an impeachment inquiry is not off the table as she explained her continued opposition to formally opening the process. I don't think you should impeach for political reasons, and I don't think you should not impeach for political reasons, Pelosi said at the Peter G. Peterson Foundation's fiscal summit. Now, just stop for a moment and think about how tone-deaf Nancy Pelosi's response is. Quote, I don't think you should impeach for political reasons, and I don't think you should not impeach for political reasons. Nancy, we're not talking about impeaching for political reasons. This isn't about politics. You have to disaggregate politics from the process of impeachment. We're talking about impeachment because Donald Trump broke the law. He's in violation of the Emoluments Clause right now. So you've got to make a decision here. Do you believe that we should hold wealthy and powerful people accountable or do you think we should live in a two-tiered justice system where normal americans get prosecuted but the rich and the powerful get away scot-free when they brazenly break the law and violate the constitution that's the question it's about principle here not politics if you believe and all leftists should believe this that Every single individual, regardless of their status, should be held accountable when they break the law and violate the Constitution, then you can't not opt for impeachment here. You can't not. It's a matter of principle. And just broadening this out beyond Nancy Pelosi, think about how weak the aggregate Democratic Party is in the House of Representatives. So out of 235 Democrats in Congress, can you guess how many support impeachment? 60 just 60. I mean, how is this even a question? How is this even a question? Take a moment and flip this. Let's say Obama was in violation of the Emoluments Clause and he attempted to obstruct justice. If you look at the caucus of Republicans in the House, do you want to know the number that would be in favor of an impeachment inquiry into President Obama if the shoe was on the other foot? 
It would be 100%. It would be 100%. But Democrats are so weak that they're not even willing to open up an impeachment inquiry. And look, even if you're not convinced that you have enough to impeach Donald Trump with, that's fine. But opening this inquiry will lead to additional information. It's an inquiry, but Democrats are incapable of being strong. I mean, the Republican Party is as ruthless, perhaps, as they've ever been. They never think about how doing something or being overly obstructive when they're just going out of their way to obstruct for obstruction's sake will harm them. They tried to repeal Obamacare over 50 times. Mitch McConnell stole a Supreme Court nominee from Obama and then says that he's going to fill that seat in 2020, violating his own principle. At what point do Democrats start fighting fire with fire? How can you not be in favor of impeachment if you are a Democrat? How? It makes no sense. When are Democrats going to grow spines and start fighting Republicans? Do you understand that this is why Democrats lose and appear weak? It's because you don't fight on something that's easy. Someone who is in the White House right now that is in violation of the Constitution, they're too afraid to even open an impeachment inquiry. And I love that AOC called Nancy Pelosi out here because you can't beat around the bush here. You've got to say, no, I'm not satisfied with her. And here's the thing. AOC knows what she needs to do to get Nancy Pelosi to act because Nancy Pelosi does not like to appear weak, even if she is weak, even if she's not a true progressive, because I want to show you her response here. So this is a quote from Nancy Pelosi. I don't want to see Trump impeached. I want to see him in prison. So do you understand what she's trying to do? In order to not appear weak, she's trying to change the conversation. No, no, no. See, for me, this isn't just about impeachment. I want to see him in prison. Nancy. You are so transparent. We all know that that is nothing more than bluster. It's nothing more than bluster. Because if you believe that Donald Trump should be in prison, then shouldn't an impeachment inquiry reasonably fall within the range of what you support? And again, she said it's not off the table, but she's dragging her feet and people like AOC and Rashida Tlaib, they have to basically force Nancy Pelosi to even consider changing her mind. When you are the leader of the Democratic Party, you should be leading the cause, Nancy. What is wrong with you? So I don't get how this is debatable. I don't get why we have to put this much pressure on Democrats when, again, if roles were reversed, Republicans would have already started the impeachment proceedings against Barack Obama. They would have already started it. But this is what we have to deal with. Mealy-mouthed corporate Democrats who are too afraid to impeach and can't possibly fathom this being about more than just politics. They can't fathom that maybe this is about holding people in power accountable. Maybe this is about actually... Having a standard that is universally applicable. If we have one standard for poor people, then we should have the same standard for everyone else. Imagine if you obstructed justice, if you were being investigated, and it turns out you were innocent as a result of that investigation, but nonetheless, you still obstructed justice on 10 different occasions. You would have already been in jail. So are we going to give Donald Trump a pass because he's powerful and rich and is the president? I say, fuck no. Start the impeachment inquiry and impeach the motherfucker. This is not a difficult issue. This is not a difficult issue. Impeach the motherfucker. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.